Yes, please start. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, <clears throat> we should start. Marius is here, so it's great. Um, Dr. Dahl, if you don't mind, uh, maybe uh, also turning the video for now. We, we will let you to do it later as well. That would be great. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, good evening, everybody. Welcome to uh, a very uh, unique um, event uh, that's happening right now. You're going to be witnessing uh, a history in the making. So we're certainly glad to have you here. Allow me to uh, introduce our uh, uh, distinguished panel of speakers today. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Georges Hueri, who is the president of uh, Lebanese IT syndicate. Uh, we have a founder of the Cyprus IT community, Oleg Reshetnikov. We also have uh, a very good uh, now friend of mm -hmm. ours and uh, very great promoter and a fintech expert, Mr. Andre Zane, who you also may know as the um, uh, vice president of the uh, Lebanese um, IT syndicate, also a founding member. And I am delighted to also welcome uh, a guest speaker, Marius uh, Tanousis here. Uh, who is uh, representing uh, Cypriot government today. Welcome, everybody. Thank you. I'd like to start, if you don't mind, with a little intro, but I want to do it a little bit different. Uh, for those uh, participants that don't know, the uh, Lebanese community has been present in Cyprus since 13th century. And... Uh, there have been always uh, a close collaboration between our countries, a huge support, uh, a lot of similarities in food and culture, the hospitality element. Uh, and also, of course, uh, we are very grateful to the Lebanese people who built a beautiful Limassol back in 1975, when unfortunately you had also troubles at the time. Uh, but uh, what uh, currently is happening is uh, IT and tech community in Cyprus is growing organically and really rapidly. Uh, we are certainly becoming a recognized uh, destination, a hub, if you wish, uh, that gathering a lot of uh, IT and tech minds with a huge global uh, uh, experience and expertise. And we feel it's a fantastic opportunity right now to present to you people from Lebanon and opportunities available here uh, for both companies and Lebanese talents and uh, for external project, for knowledge transfers, for collaborative project and product development. So today we will be covering all these aspects is first of all, what are the opportunities for uh, Lebanese uh, um, uh, companies, IT and tech companies here in Cyprus. Uh, what can you learn from the experience of Andre Zane, who relocated his company to Cyprus last year? And of course, uh, let's cover the opportunities for all of you talented individuals uh, that uh, uh, why Cyprus uh, is, is certainly a, d a destination that you should be considering also. So, uh, if you allow me, I could start with the first question, Andre. Allow me to bring you in the picture. Uh, I think you are uh, certainly, in my view, a definition of a tech entrepreneur. Uh, you, you've had a vast international experience. Uh, I know you've gained it with a company called uh, Ingress Limited, which was uh, acquired by what was at the time one of the largest independent software corporations in the world. Um, I'm sure you had a very interesting you know life stories but let's uh let's uh, let's hear a quick brief about your journey how you become where you are now hello everybody yeah uh, to answer you basically on my uh, career i have started very young i graduated uh, 21 years old and i started my journey by traveling abroad so i left lebanon after my uh, graduation 
and started a few years in, uh, in the uh, United Arab Emirates. And uh, later on, I started my real corporate career with, as you mentioned, Ingress Limited, which was a database company uh, in London. And that was, if you want, the, uh, the most important uh, uh, milestone in my, uh, in my career, which uh, made me understand how large corporates uh, uh, operate and uh, has given me a lot of exposure on the international operations side. So um, I was very young, but uh, uh, that's, that's how I really started my career. Later on acquired by CA in New York, uh, that was again another jump in the, in, the, in the size of the corporation that I was working in. Uh, uh, but that didn't last uh, more than three years and uh, I had to go back to uh, uh, the UAE when I started my career. And this is when I decided to join an integration company to do uh, work in the banking sector. And uh, uh, I, I fell in love in the, in the financial technology industry. At that time, uh, it was very challenging uh, back in the 90s. Uh, and uh, I succeeded in, um, in, in building a lot of very interesting projects in there. And then uh, the second a big milestone in my career was when I was approached by um, a person who uh, happened to be a potent, uh, uh, one of my partners today in my business uh, to start a company uh, in the Middle East uh, back in 2000. Uh, and that was an, an excellent uh, uh, opportunity for me to understand how entrepreneurial uh, work works and uh, uh, how to build a startup. So I was uh, the first person to join uh, that partner. And we started a company called Ijada, which ended up becoming the, uh, the biggest uh, IT company in the Middle East, actually, uh, uh, currently employing 1,600 people. Um, so that ended uh, uh, back in 2011. So I spent most of my career doing that. Uh, in 2011, beginning of 2012, I decided it was time to found my own business after acquiring all this uh, business technology and entrepreneurial uh, uh, skills. I have started uh, like the crowning of my experience was the, uh, the building of Technorion in my hometown in Lebanon. Uh, uh, at that time, the opportunity in the banking sector was, seemed to be good. Uh, and uh, uh, promising on the digitization side of the businesses. And we succeeded in building some very interesting uh, projects and products as well. Uh, lately, uh, so like 10 years after founding the company, uh, we ended up uh, on the verge of uh, spinning off a new FinTech, which we're going to announce very soon. So uh, we're planning for an official launch uh, somewhere during this year. And that will be for a business called Switten. And I will uh, probably have the chance to talk to you about it later on. So that's, uh, that's a brief about my uh, experience. Uh, just to mention um, uh, that uh, we are currently in Cyprus. And this is uh, mainly because of uh, the uncertainty that started building up in Lebanon back in 2019. That made me feel uh, at risk of uh, um, uh, big failures in case I did not take any measures because my business is very international and it's very dependent on the financial sector. Uh, that led me to, to make a very important decision, uh, which was to relocate. So uh, that's why you find me here. It's, uh, it's the result of uh, a year of planning and hard work until uh, I managed to uh, relocate my entire uh, company uh, here in Limassol. I have to say, um, uh, let's let's talk about your relocation to Cyprus. Um, as we've talked at length, uh, uh, relocating successful business relocation, it's a little bit like building a, a successful unicorn uh, software startup, isn't it? You know, you need to have a very good strategic planning. You need to have you need to understand all your commercial uh, uh, objectives. Uh, uh, and also conduct a very careful execution. Uh, from what I understand, you had a, you had some options apart from Cyprus of the other jurisdictions. So, uh, 
what were the drives for relocation for you and what made the Cyprus the winner? Okay, uh, yeah, about that move to Cyprus, it, uh, as I said, it started in 2019, just before the big uh, economical crash in Lebanon and the uh, political turmoil also that led to a, uh, a disastrous situation that currently uh, my fellow Lebanese are living. Uh, I decided to start looking at uh, the option of relocation back in 2019 when things were still okay in Lebanon, but I have uh, foreseen that uh, there might be a very big risk uh, by, by staying down there. So uh, it was a very hard decision, but I have put in my mind that back in December 2019, that I must relocate. And I've, uh, I've done a quick uh, survey of the places that could eventually host us very quickly. And Cyprus was among them. So there were three destinations like Malta um, and uh, Yerevan in Armenia. So um, uh, the decision to move to Cyprus was a no brainer. Uh, not because we've explored other places, we've just explored them on the surface, but uh, the, the first attempt to, uh, to study a country was Cyprus. I just made a call to the Cyprus embassy and it all started there. Uh, I felt a, a welcoming experience starting from the embassy uh, with the information provided, with the connection that the embassy gave me with our good friends at SIPA who immediately invited me to come and uh, meet with them in uh, Nicosia, which I did like a week later. And during this, uh, uh, this weekend that we have spent together in uh, Nicosia, uh, there was actually no more reason not to do that. So uh, uh, there, it's a mix of so many things, but I would say that uh, this is a country that is um, not only trained, but uh, has the vision to host um, uh, foreigners to come and make this place their place. And uh, uh, through my experience in the last year already, uh, I really feel I'm home. This place is like mine. And uh, uh, I have not had a single bad experience, to be totally frank with everybody. Uh, this was, this was one of those, the, the, the most stressful uh, periods in my life, but at the same time, uh, a period where I have had no bad surprises. At the, at the contrary, we've, we've been really pleasantly surprised with everything from the, the, the way of life, dealing with people, dealing with governments, with authorities, with partners. Uh, uh, I really feel that I am home and I really mean it here. Well, listen, you're almost like your right hand uh, person was uh, uh, Marios, uh, who helped you a lot. Huh? Uh, Marius, uh, is a, Marius is a, uh, a fellow Lebanese who actually migrated in the 13th century. <laughs> uh, he, he actually comes from a very long uh, heritage of a Lebanese family. And uh, right. so that's, that's, not, that's not what's make him special. Uh, Marius has accompanied me on a daily basis, and I can tell it uh, openly to everybody for a year now and over a year. Since December 2019, Marius has never spent a couple of days or three days without understanding whether we were doing fine, whether we needed any help. And that gave us really uh, one of the best pushes to, uh, uh, to relocate, uh, despite all of the problems that, uh, that were faced along the way. You know, COVID didn't make life very easy, especially when you're relocating an entire company. Uh, the logistics, the bureau bureaucracy that still exists in the country didn't make it very easy obtaining um, uh, permits uh, for employees to relocate and work in here. Uh, but through the pro proper connections, uh, through the help of uh, the right people like SIPA, uh, there is absolutely no problem that cannot be resolved in Cyprus and uh, legally. This is something very important. I think for everybody that's listening now and for everyone that's going to be listening in on demand, uh, uh, the one thing is very clear. If you were to relocate to a new destination, even if it's just around the corner, half an hour fly, it's important to have a support of knowledgeable uh, uh, experts on the ground. So Mario, so if you allow me to bring you into the conversation, Maybe you can tell to all the participants uh, 
about uh, who you are and how you're supporting Lebanese companies uh, in a uh, uh, in a relocation strategies. Thank you. Yes, um, thank you very much, uh, Sean, and uh, uh, good evening to all the participants. Thank you very much, Andre, for your kind words. Um, what we are doing at Invest Cyprus, and uh, I have been in the organization for the last 10 years after our international uh, career with Societe Generale Bank, uh, in mostly covering business lines across the region and in Cyprus. Uh, for me, international business is, is what motivates me, and um, uh, I basically do everything I can with my team at Invest Cyprus. And um, uh, the thanks for uh, uh, from Andre go to uh, the team, you know, which uh, is with me on the headquartering uh, site, which is Anya, Lido, George as the CEO. All together, we work very hard, and we are working very hard to accommodate. Um, international companies, uh, medium size, small size, or even uh, large multinationals to explore Cyprus, put Cyprus on the horizon. And when they need to do the decision to relocate, we offer our services A to Z, complementary to the services that they get from the private sector. We are a non-profit organization where the investment authority of the government and our role is to help foreign businesses, international clients to capitalize on the advantages of Cyprus, on the benefits of Cyprus for doing business in Cyprus and in the region. Um, we have seen tremendous changes over the last uh, 15 years in the international arena, uh, both at EU level, but also uh, lately, the last two, three years with Brexit and other developments, uh, it seems that Cyprus experience and um, hosting of foreign companies for more than 40 years, I would say. And um, here we can say and highlight again the um, collaboration we uh, had with uh, our friendly country and neighbor, Lebanon, where we hosted the Lebanese businesses during the civil war there in the 70s and 80s, helping the people. So the people of uh, uh, Cyprus and Lebanon are close together. And uh, this makes it a lot easier, you know, to uh, proceed and further strengthen the business and investment ties for the future. So our, our role and uh, mandate is to help you guys, to help businesses from any country, where they come from Eastern European countries, from Western European countries, from Asia, from the US, from Canada, uh, from Russia. We are here to facilitate. We are here to help. And you are more than welcome to knock on our door, to call us, email us for anything we can do to help you with setting a base, relocating or expanding through Cyprus. And also, we are ready to listen to your suggestions. If we can uh, make the environment easier for you to flourish, for the businesses to flourish, because these businesses are the ones that are creating growth to the economy. They are creating jobs, and these are so much needed, especially uh, in our days with COVID. I don't want to say too much, uh, just to say that we are here for you. And thank you again, uh, Andre, for the uh, trust. Thank you again for your nice words. Thank you, Sean, for what you are doing uh, with your IT forum and the uh, IT club that you have with all the members. We are all grateful to you, and we thank you again. And um, we have COVID now, but you know that um, we used to have appreciation events for the different clusters of the economy uh, of the foreign investment in Cyprus, and we look forward to uh, initiate them with physical presence um, when better days will come, hopefully, uh, and um, we will uh, reward and appreciate what you are doing for Cyprus. Thank you very much, and uh, I am available for any questions that you might have or any uh, issues that you want to raise. Thank you. Thank you, Marius. Uh, I, I, look, uh, uh, Andrea, I, I want to come, come back to you for a moment, uh, because I think uh, our participants uh, should understand that uh, 
the environment in, in, in Cyprus right now, specifically for IT and tech companies, is quite diverse. And, and I would, uh, uh, unless uh, the founder here wants to add something else, Oleg, uh, I would say that uh, the most high growth uh, activities has been seen within fintech and game development. So we've got some, some fantastic companies that already relocated here. One of the uh, members of our community, they're gonna be floating on the market for 2 billion uh, uh, dollars. So it's a, it's a it's changing game development scene. But FinTech is very, uh, is very, um, is very interesting area for us. Now you, Andre, is gonna enhance this scene by bringing now two more entities here. I mean, we've heard about uh, the Technorian. I don't know if you can tell us any a little bit about uh, Switzerland. Huh? We're still at Technorian now in uh, Cyprus, so uh, Switzerland is not yet launched. Uh, Technorian, just for everyone to understand, Technorian is the services company that I started uh, ten years ago. It is an enabler of digital transformation. So it's a project company, and all what we have built throughout the years was to complete a stack of technology uh, which we use in every digital transformation project to uh, achieve the, the transformation at the client side. Uh, what we have discovered, and uh, it is natural in the last two, three years, is that there is a big rise of fintech and there is a huge opportunity for us to build something for us as we are building it for others. So uh, came the idea of uh, the electronic bill presentment and payment and somehow uh, receivable management systems. Uh, this is a domain that I've been specialized in uh, during my last uh, employment uh, years. And uh, I, cre I created some uh, very interesting uh, uh, um, affinity to this kind of business. Uh, and uh, what I've done at the early stages in Technorion that I've embarked into two projects for clients, which involves the uh, creation of a generic platform for, uh, uh, for bill presentment and payment. Um, so this has evolved into Switzerland. So in 2018, my, uh, my uh, partners and I decided to reinvest whatever we can from uh, our revenues in Technorion to create and to assemble the platform. And we, architect, we architected some, uh, a platform that's got an unprecedented value in the, uh, in the creation of electronic bill presentment and payment. So what we call EBPP. And it is, just, it is beyond the value creation by just payment. So we are not to be compared with uh, the payment gateways or, uh, or the banks, but we rather complement the payment methods or the payment rails that exist in every geography by providing businesses with the proper uh, follow up on their receivables and uh, with the presentment, dissemination and facilitation of payments, reconciliation of their payments down to the settlements. So uh, we, we have created a unique selling point or a set of unique selling points that make us uh, very ubiquitous in the in the uh, area of uh, bill payments and this is where we are embarking one of the one of the things you have to uh, to make sure that you uh, um, you do as a fintech is you either need to find a niche uh, which exploits existing problems and finds the resolutions for problems in the community or you create new opportunities in the uh, in the business environment so uh, and we call both of these as gaps they're either gaps in uh, uh, problematics or they are gaps in uh, opportunities so uh, what Switzerland does it addresses both of these points and it is capable of adapting to any um, a market be it a, uh, a market under development or a market overly developed so uh, we have the capacity to operate in, uh, in Germany, in France, as well as in, uh, in Africa, in the Middle East, in, uh, in the Far East, uh, in any model that uh, we, uh, we find uh, feasible for that geography. So we are going to, um, 
start by a quick launch, uh, and this is most likely going to be the area of uh, uh, Cyprus and whatever is around Cyprus, uh, and uh, and very quickly expand to uh, to different geographies. So, so what was the, uh, was the location to Cyprus was also strategic for you to in, in order to market these platforms to the Europe yeah, yeah. to other regions was was that beneficial for you to do it from Cyprus yes. then. Yes, of course. Uh, number one, uh, I was relocating out of Lebanon, and in Lebanon we have a problem of uh, authorities not understanding intellectual property. So we do not have the proper legal uh, system to either register or value an intangible asset such as intellectual property in an organization. So I was uh, suffering of that. And I've seen when I've studied the Cypriot uh, system, not only you, uh, uh, you register uh, your IP, but you also get it valued. And you also get a tax advantage if uh, uh, the, the authorities find this IP valuable beyond a certain uh, limit. So uh, there will be, uh, for anyone who creates an intellectual property and can properly evaluate it in Cyprus, can also get a, a tax advantage beyond the existing uh, uh, tax advantage that exists for everybody in Cyprus. So uh, that is an area that has also impacted our decision. Uh, for those in Lebanon, th the decision to come here was not proximity. It was supposed to be proximity, but with COVID, being in Limassol is like being in Australia compared to Lebanon, because we cannot travel. Uh, so uh, the, the proximity was supposed to be one of the decision factors, but it appeared not to be the same thing at all uh, with the situation we're living. So anyway, uh, th this is definitely, uh, Sean, one of the decision-making uh, points that we have taken is that not only we get uh, protected on our IP, but we get also promoted by special agencies that are being formed by special government initiatives to promote uh, Cyprus as becoming a tech hub. The, nobody in Cyprus is, uh, is uh, 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 marketing the, the Cypriot uh, market size for But what is being properly marketed is the decision by the government to make this island a tech hub for Europe and beyond. And the, I think that uh, Cyprus has got the means and has got the talent and has got the atmosphere and uh, the, the legislations are being prepared to have a proper ground uh, for uh, innovators and, uh, and creator of, uh, creators of intellectual property. I will not get into the details. I think SIPA yeah. will have a lot of information published about all these initiatives, but there are plenty of these uh, uh, initiatives. On the way. For, for, for everyone that's joining us today and everyone that's watching on demand, uh, uh, feel free to reach out to myself or, or Andre or George, if you want, uh, who will direct it uh, to us. Uh, together with our partners, uh, who is a professional service provider at ASUS Plus and with Marius uh, uh, representing government, we can certainly provide all the necessary information and the data that you need and not just for your uh, corporate needs, also for your private needs. You know, if uh, you decided to come to our island with the families and kids, and you want to know information about schools or anything like that, uh, opening a bank account, we certainly can uh, give you all the right advice here. Uh, but listen, uh, uh, Andre, uh, we'd certainly delighted to welcome you to be part of our community here as well. And obviously, we, we would like to share with our members, who, some of whom are individual and institutional investors, about uh, people like yourself. You know, they've got a great vision, but also have a great uh, product already developed. Are you, are you open yourself in, in terms of, uh, you know, bringing uh, partners on board that could add value uh, for the long-term growth? Of course, we are. Uh, the, uh... Investors relations is something very important for us to plan from now. Uh, one needs to understand is that uh, the entirety of the platform and everything that's around it 
has been totally uh, self-funded by us, by the founders and by the company Technorion. So uh, we did not actually need any uh, seed funding to reach a level of a platform readiness. So on the tech side and also on the business preparations on establishing the use cases and the models that can be implemented and then adapting the, the platform to meet those models and those uh, use, use cases. We have totally funded this from our own uh, uh, money. So uh, the platform is now ready. Uh, what we've done very recently, and we're about to execute a, um, a pre-launch um, uh, pre fund, which uh, we, were, uh, we were able to secure uh, recently uh, to help us in the launch process. So we're going to do a first launch during this year. Uh, we do not yet uh, disclose the uh, the geography, but it is uh, it is uh, quite uh, uh, decided right now. So we're going to have a first launch, and after the first launch, we're going to move into geographical expansions. And every big area that we move to is going to be accompanied with uh, uh, additional uh, rounds of funding uh, to cover specific territory operations. So uh, yes, this is uh, this is our situation as of today. Thank you, uh, Luke. I think uh, I have to say uh, you were one of those fortunate people uh, whose life experience entailed this uh, international travel, you know, knowledge acquisition, and it's clear to me that a lot of your success is actually due to the fact that um, there was a lot of um, intelligence that you acquired along the way through this uh, international exposure and uh, this is something that uh, obviously when uh, when the country brings a lot of interesting uh, companies high growth uh, it and tech companies they start facing a problem especially on the islands like ours is to finding the right talent uh, i think the role of our um uh, the mission of our community is one of them is actually to ensure the talent development. And now we're looking into the ways of collaborating with the government and focusing on developing the local talents as well. But you know what? Uh, I was fortunate enough when I was working in the Middle East to meet some of the most talented IT professionals who had uh, uh, Lebanon origins. But when you talk uh, in Cyprus about talents, what they're looking for, the, the Lebanon talents, is, it's, it's not mentioned uh, ever probably sometimes. So I want to bring George, uh, uh, George's to the conversation because uh, I know you're the very avid promoter of the Lebanese talent, uh, uh, your Lebanese uh, IT sector. You did an amazing job uh, starting back in 2006 when you created IT community in Lebanon. I know it's been a long and bumpy road for you to make it all official, to finally make it as an association, uh, which was formed in 2018. Uh, but as a fellow community builder, how important do you think it is to utilize this collective brain power and global expertise to ensure these positive interactions between stakeholders for the benefit of the economies, basically, and societies, both at the regional and global level? Huh? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Huh? Yeah, thank you very much for the kind introduction. Uh, as my colleague Andre and my uh, longtime partner already introduced, uh, we, we do consider Cyprus as a very close and uh, welcoming country. And it's always been a, a fast heaven for Lebanon during all the states of war and all the issues that we, we, we run through. We are very proud that we have a lot of successful Lebanese in IT. And uh, since we started in 2006, we found a lot of difficulties in order to introduce the Lebanese IT community and to make, to take role and to, to fight for the rights of IT people. Because as you know, when you say IT, people think that he's the guy who changed the printer cartridge or who changed the cable or I don't know what. So technically- Turning off, turning on the computer to <laughs> exactly. fix the problem. Restart, control, and delete. Fellas, finish. So technically, we have uh, we, uh, IT now is part of everything: government, banking, uh, medicine, uh, telemedicine. So 
we are really we, we do not interfere with any other uh, career but we are part of every career so technically we facilitate and we help every part to, 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 to produce more to be more to more to be more effective to be more productive and uh, and I, I learned a lot from Andre who is also my, my tutor in these things he had always been just the, the, the wise guy in the in the, the syndicate he always give us very good advice and help us to, to grow. He, he, he was the, the main help in, in organizing the, the, the syndicate. A lot of good ideas, a lot of... Uh, you know, I, 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 know, I knew that my partners, Tony was with us also, and, and, and the, the guys, the IT, uh, Abdo, we, we, together we did really a good job in joining all the community. We, 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 we refuse any kind of political affiliate or religious, we are all one. We believe in IT, IT is our, our aim. And I, I believe that uh, Cyprus was always, since I started making business, it was always our second step, our second home, and we're proud of it. And we are very thankful and very happy to meet you guys because we finally find somebody who, who thinks like us who has the positive thought with all the negatives that are that surrounding us with COVID, with the economic crisis in Lebanon and all over the world. And uh, I think that there's a lot of opportunity. I, I will not, uh, how come, how we say, I will not market people to, to go to Cyprus and relocate because I'm Lebanese IT, but I will help them because I know that there's no income here and there's no business here. Banking sector is failing apart. So we will help them a lot. We will, we will, uh, we will be more than that also if you can also promote the jobs for us, promote outsourcing uh, tasks, anything that will help the Lebanese economy to survive, the Lebanese people, as always Cyprus have done also uh, in, in, the, in the past and will do in the future. We have a very, very good link. Uh, I got to know Mr. Marius from Andre also. We're very thankful for your support and your help. And we are very glad that we have a second family there that will help anyone to feel at home and will help him start a business or do anything. Because we know at the end that every Lebanese will go back to his country and will help his country indirectly or directly. So this is very positive for, to us to have a second point. You are uh, geographically, it's very easy, as you said, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you're in Cyprus. Uh, the people is very welcoming and we, we, have, we share the same uh, how we say uh, way of Values. thinking and way yeah. of yeah, we're very 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 close to each other, so we won't feel uh, like if, yeah, if, if I'm flying to to Venezuela, for example. Uh, first of all, it's very far. The, the language is is really difficult and a lot of difficulties. So technically, Cyprus, it's like you're going from Beirut to Juni. I'm going from Beirut to Cyprus. As simple as that. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm very happy to coordinate everything with you. We will be your, your right hand in Lebanon. We will assist you in anything you need. We will assist people going there to establish companies. With your coordination, with your help, Mr. Marius, Mr. Oleg, Mr. Sean, we are very happy to become a very successful team uh, trying to overcome. We, we always seek a simple hope of light, a simple light to, to, uh, to, to go further in life with all the negative activity we have around us. Uh, you are, I, I hope nothing you know, will, will come to us as in Lebanon now. Every day we have a problem on the road. Every the, the dollar is 10,000 Lebanese pound. And you know, the manager who, who it's 10 times less income for everyone. It is really disastrous here. It is. But yeah. we know that Andre, thank you. And for the good knowledge and for the good, the good people you are. We know that now we have a hope for our people. Uh, believe me, uh, we excel in what we do. Whenever you choose a Lebanese to do a task, he will, he will do anything so it will make it happen. So this is something really, you don't find it in everybody. I, I, I traveled the world, I went to many people. You see people dedicated in one thing. He succeeded in what he's doing. But whenever we have a problem, he'll throw it on somebody else. The Lebanese guy, he never do it. Whatever the issue is, he will find a solution. It, he's, a, he's a passport too. <laughs> he was not <laughs> anything. That's <laughs> not too. Yeah. I'll just uh, add to, uh, to uh, George is that uh, when I relocated, uh, I had a serious talk with George to see whether I should maintain my position on the board of the syndicate. And uh, the decision was made that uh, not only I will remain as the vice president and, uh, and a board member, 
but uh, I will have to play the role of the ambassador of LITS in Cyprus and beyond. And uh, one of the first things I was looking for was to find a community such as uh, yours, Oleg and Sean. And we were really lucky to, uh, uh, to get this connection together. And again, it falls uh, behind our relationship with SIPA because uh, indirectly, this is how I got to meet you. So the connections uh, and the PR that has been opened to me by uh, SIPA, the SIPA activities and all these uh, uh, connections we made has uh, really made my life much easier to find the right people. And I think through the uh, five or six long discussions uh, Sean and Oleg and I have had in the last uh, couple of weeks, I think we, we are coming to a, a very solid type of partnership to resolve something very important in Lebanon. IT people living in Lebanon are the closest to leave the country and migrate elsewhere. And the more they migrate, the more we leave the country unattended, because these are brains, these are engineers who have the capacity to rebuild the country. My mission in here and George's mission in Lebanon, and now it's becoming uh, our joint mission with, uh, with you, uh, uh, Oleg and Sean, mm -hmm. is to create a platform which uh, you're going to talk about, uh, to ensure that the Lebanese talent can still get rewarded from working from home. And we're going to find the right uh, a, a groundwork, the right, the right platform uh, for them to be uh, uh, open to uh, connections coming from uh, Europe and uh, for uh, potentially IP to be exported for talent and services and products to be exported out of Lebanon and uh, make people's life uh, much easier through the storm oil that, uh, that our country is uh, going through. So I leave so the how, to you, Sean. How, how, how big is it, Georgia? How big is the uh, talent pool at the moment through your um, um, syndicate? I, I believe you got over 1,000 uh, members, if I'm not mistaken, uh, on the syndicate. Uh, and obviously with the IT community, it's even bigger, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's around 4,000 application on the wow. syndicate, yes, but the, 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 the real numbers are around 1,500 now. And mm -hmm. for the community, we are around 20,000 the whole in the wow. whole country. We are not at all, we didn't join everybody yet, but we have around 60 or 70 percent of the community in communication. We have a WhatsApp group, Facebook groups, and we are also always communicating. Uh, we, we did, uh, powered by the Lebanese IT syndicate, LabTech. LabTech is a Lebanese technology show. Uh, it's only about uh, technology and solution. We do it every year. So this year, with the whole with the whole issue we had, and it was done online, there is around 11 or 12,000 people who attended this event live. So it was really successful. Uh, in, 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 in our case, I, in an in IT case, Lebanese are all together. We don't have any problem at all. We're all in one hand trying to do anything. And as Andre said, we are very happy to assist in anything remotely. Anyway, I, I consider when I when I do any business in Cyprus, I'm not immigrating because I feel like I, I already told you it's another come, it's another uh, uh, it's very 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 uh, very how you say uh, very close, us, very close to us in terms of values yeah. and in terms sure. of business and in terms of geography. Yeah. Yes. And you can visit your family during the weekend and co work during the week. You can keep your family in Lebanon and work if you're in Cyprus, vaccinated. So. If you're vaccinated. Yeah. Well, it's very easy. Listen, this is, I, I, I'll put my cards on the table here. I, um, I, I have had experience working with the other jurisdictions like Ireland, Estonia, previously Netherlands. Uh, when I was back in London and, uh, you know, our company was acting as a mediator and they were setting up the meetings between, for example, Microsoft and Estonian government when they were, wanted to set up a, a, a data center there. Uh, and I really seen in terms of how they approached promotion of their uh, jurisdictions and it was a very targeted approach. Uh, with us in Cyprus, I feel, uh, uh, from my experience, meeting very highly educated, talented Lebanese uh, uh, IT and tech uh, professionals, you know, and the fact that uh, it, it's a bit of a political instability right now there, I think it presents a very unique opportunity, not just for businesses, but also for the uh, individuals, the members of your uh, 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 syndicate. 
in terms of looking into Cyprus as a from the safety standpoint, from the proximity standpoint, and of course, when in the future, when the political situation will get better back home, you know, we still around the corner. So maybe people like Andre Zane, they don't need to migrate back, repatriate back into the countries because we've looked after you in the right manner. But I feel yeah. there is also an opportunity now for the Lebanese talent to be presented in Cyprus because pandemic did wonders for fintech and game development companies, for example. They grow drastically. And with the growth uh, mm -hmm. becomes a need of acquiring the right talents. Now, a lot of these people looking at the talents on the other side, you know, they're looking into Europe, they're looking into the CIS region, you know, et cetera. But maybe we should start presenting to them opportunities uh, uh, for the Lebanese uh, people and to say, look, we've got a very highly qualified people that have been mentored by the Lebanese IT syndicate. I know you do your own uh, uh, programs. You've got your own uh, uh, curriculums. Um, so, so for everybody that listening, you know, by the way, please feel free to submit your questions if you wish to. What is uh, what drawn you to this uh, gathering? If you got any questions, we'll address it. But I think this is how I look at it, uh, uh, Georges and Andre, that there are two things we could uh, uh, look at in a very stri strategic way. Is one, assist with the uh, advice, consultation, sort of a, a third party, non-biased uh, uh, view in terms of how to do the best relocation to uh, to Cyprus for your businesses, how to structure it in the right bankable way, but also uh, for the Lebanese uh, talents. You know, perhaps, uh, you know, we could get some information about your members and, uh, and, and distribute it within the firms uh, around here. Uh, and of but course, we have, the, we have the professionals that can, that can support activities in terms of acquisition of uh, visas, uh, opening the bank accounts, if it's requested. Or maybe it's a remote work. What do, what do you think about if we do a, a joint group, a Facebook group between you, you and us, and we will monitor it from Beirut, and we'll put all the people with our recommendation, and you, they can ask clarity questions. I mean, when you have time, you can answer them back. It could be a, like a portal for both of us to communicate. Is it a good idea for you? We actually have already a portal that's uh, dedicated to the uh, HR matters. Uh, Oleg yeah. has created a very uh, interesting uh, portal. Basically, uh, the competition in Cyprus is huge at the moment. Because the majority of the talent uh, is uh, congregating within our community. And we can see uh, it's not enough because uh, they've already drawn by the big salaries. Like, for example, uh, one of the companies uh, are currently looking for a professional, uh, a lead a game developer, uh, and uh, they're offering salaries as high as 8,000 a month. That's euros. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and you, as you know, uh, Andre probably knows, if your salary goes uh, over 100K uh, uh, annually, there is a very good attractive package now available uh, for, uh, for, um, for people of uh, that caliber. So, so we, can, we can certainly, uh, we need to have a, a very strategic uh, plans uh, put it together with you, Georges, and with you, Andre, uh, and then execute it in the right manner. We, we are very fortunate that we have a very good connections now, both with the governments, also with the deputy ministry. Uh, so we could certainly convey the messages from our side in order for them to uh, design and deploy right policies to make it even more favorable. Um, just to give you an idea, we, we actually were already suggesting at the end of last year, there should be a certain uh, um, uh, programs introduced to a specific countries. Uh, so, uh, so maybe they should look at it, uh, uh, you know, um, in the Lebanon in, spe in a specific way. Because I understand a lot of talents going to Arabic countries now, right? Is that, is that correct? Mm -hmm. 
Yes. It's going everywhere. The, the talent is moving outside of Lebanon by the tons every day. So we have to act very fast and try to convince those young people that they may have a future in Lebanon despite every single problem they are facing. Uh, uh, the only thing we cannot stop, of course, is uh, the danger of, uh, uh, of a, a political, real political crisis and uh, 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 the fall of the infrastructure. This is uh, our biggest worry. In that case, we will have to host them uh, elsewhere. But uh, there is still a chance that we can keep those talents whether they are companies or with, uh, with uh, uh, services and uh, skills, or whether these are individuals working in Lebanon, uh, there are still hopes for them uh, to make a living, a decent living, just by being in the IT profession. And uh, we are really blessed to be in that industry uh, mm -hmm. because this is, uh, this is the way forward. This is, it's the only the only uh, position uh, currently that always is in demand, whether you're yeah. an analyst or a developer, a project manager or a pre-sales consultant, it's, uh, it's demanded everywhere. It's, uh, you cannot know how many people call me <laughs> for finding the right talents for them. I like George's, uh, I like George's idea about creating some kind of a social media groups where we can... Uh, where all the people that participating now or, or, or all the, or the ones that are going to be aware of it, this uh, relationship uh, further down the line, uh, you know, they could kind of uh, get at least an initial uh, access. So let's, let's put our brains together. We all have the brains. Looks like sounds uh, and sounds like the size of the earth. So if we put it all together, it would be like a universe. Eh? Yes. Uh, yeah, we're ready. Uh, and, and just for everybody, we, we've got a very exciting moment before we get to the questions. I can see some nice questions coming through. I think this is very exciting part uh, for me is uh, we, we're utilizing this meetup to make an official agreement between our community, Cyprus IT community and uh, a Lebanese IT syndicate. So we should do the the uh, the signing ceremony where we are officially signing the memorandum of agreement memorandum of understanding of a collaboration between our our communities yes and i'm delighted to be the witness of, uh, to it oleg and george you as the founders please sign at the top andre zane you and I, we are going to have to sign right at the bottom here. Oh, I can't even, can't see. I think it's better if I do it like that. We're officially signing. This counts more than the marriage certificate. You know that, don't you? <laughs> yes, for sure. The divorce is impossible now. Oh, I'm ready, gentlemen. <laughs> All right, excellent. This is the joint uh, MOU, which was uh, signed. It was uh, agreed to be signed during the ceremony, but this is uh, the sign of the how serious oh. both parties are in this matter. We are going to yeah. join hands on the matters of education, on the matters of knowledge transfer, on the matters of uh, talent and connections, uh, uh, being a tech hub between Lebanon and Cyprus and uh, beyond Cyprus as well. So this is our mission for the next period. And um, I really wish that uh, uh, we will all succeed in that for the good of everybody. I would, I would certainly encourage anybody uh, who is listening to this presentation, to, uh, to, the, to this session, to reach out to George, to become a members of their syndicates, uh, become the members of their community. Have a look at the programs. They're doing a fantastic job. And if you're already a highly qualified uh, professional, uh, we would like to hear from you. So, so certainly um, Cyprus is presenting a lot of good opportunities for yourselves. Uh, touch wood, we are a safe country. We are a European country. It opens a lot of opportunities for you. We have some very nice companies that uh, provides with the international exposure. Uh, so um, 
So we're certainly looking forward to see you uh, uh, on our little island. Um, but let's uh, let's talk about uh, some of the questions. Let's address some of the questions. Salim Saba, hello Salim. Um, you're asking a very uh, technical question. Uh, can we understand more information on legalities, creating a company in Cyprus, hiring Lebanese and visas? I mean, we are, we are lucky to have uh, an expert here with us, uh, who is also partner of our uh, community, Sophocles, Sophocles Michael. Uh, Sophocles, maybe you can just briefly tell them about it. I think the question could be a very long, but um, uh, just maybe summarize um, how we can, what are the opportunities for Cyprus and hiring Lebanese and visas. If you, uh, if you allow me just to mention something, Sean, yep. I will be ready to host a, um, a group to explain about these things because they are very particular to the situation in Lebanon. Uh, Sophocles probably understands the entirety of the process, but for every single step I have been to in this last yeah. year, there has been exceptions made and there has been problems due to the current situation in Lebanon especially when it comes to the, the funding, especially when it comes to the visas, to the labor, everything needs to be uh, really specially thought uh, of. It's a long process, but it is feasible. If you have a case, it can be done. So I will ask George, if possible, to post on our website, uh, uh, potentially a session that we can conduct next week uh, for half an hour or one hour, and I will explain to my Lebanese fellows all of, all of what they need to know uh, in case they want to relocate to Cyprus as a company. Okay? That's a that's very a good suggestion. Uh, Thank so you, Andre. I will add an also a form. Anyone who needs requests, I will be directed to Andre. Andre will communicate with you if you want. Or put it on the website and on the Facebook. An application form, you, you can put all his info and send it directly to his question. To facilitate, facilitate communication. Is it good, Andre? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, for uh, are you with us? Uh... Hello, guys. Yes, I'm listening to a very interesting uh, stories with all of you. Congratulations, Son. Congratulations, Andre, for your company. Uh, I would like to congratulate everyone. It's really interesting. And we're very proud as Cyprus professionals for the opportunity of all these big IT companies relocating to Cyprus and making Cyprus a real IT hub. I, what Marius uh, said before, it's very important for the Cyprus economy to attract such companies. The benefit to all of the Cypriots and the multiplier effect in the economy is tremendous for these companies to move their headquarters in Cyprus, to make substance in Cyprus, to relocate employees in Cyprus, uh, even to bring their families to Cyprus. Their, their kids need to go to schools. They need to, I mean, it's the real economy. And taking this into consideration, from our part, we would like to welcome such companies, such opportunities, and we are ready here to assist you and make your life easy on the process of relocation. S Salim, I, I'd like to add here, again, coming back to your questions about uh, understanding more information on legalities, creating a company in Cyprus, Andre, uh, uh, volunteered to what he might find a very impossible task because uh, you're going to be indated with all different questions uh, because I, I like I can show you one uh, website we created Oleg uh, created the uh, this uh, channel that's focusing specifically on tax and legal matters it's like hundreds and hundreds of messages uh, it's just non-stop uh, uh, what but, I plan to do is the overall uh, the, the overall discussion yeah. about the feasibility of moving yeah. the business and uh, my experience through that and anyone who's got uh, uh, questions about specifics 
yeah. on the taxes, on the advantage that you get as an IP company or as a as an IT company or as an IP creator. These are the yeah. things I can talk about. I can talk about the startup program Perfect. and about uh, how companies can be incorporated in here and uh, relocate. Uh, I can also discuss about companies who want to uh, establish a virtual or a, a branch office in Cyprus to be yeah. able to work in both places. I can answer these questions, but I strongly recommend for anyone who's past the stage and is really serious about relocating is to go and find a right agent. And I can also give them uh, some good contact about uh, uh, companies in Cyprus who have helped me achieve that very easily. So the, uh, you need to find the right people to understand the law and to do things correctly. That's that's absolutely right. So, uh, 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 so oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. That was this your is, dog. Uh, it's, it's, it's the dogs uh, protecting us. No problem. What happens? Uh, uh, Sa uh, Salim, we, we just want to tell you that uh, uh, if you want to just to, to add to something that Andre said, uh, we have uh, the partners that are dealing with these uh, technical matters. Uh, obviously grateful to, uh, to Andre for his suggestion. And we actually have uh, information ready in a, a small introductory pack. So uh, I will put in the chat my uh, email address. It's my direct email address, personal address. So for anybody that has a, a question, uh, you can send the request to me directly and I can provide you with the pack uh, that gives you all the information about uh, just a bit, you know, information that you need with regards to legalities, registering the company, etc. cetera. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll go to the next question. This is from my new friend who invited me to party in, uh, in Lebanon as soon as the situation gets better. I'm definitely taking that up. Dr. Dal, uh, uh, dear Sean, our collaboration is a long path and it should be a win-win system. Totally agree. Uh, can you send us some links to website? You know more about the facilities in Cyprus. Yes, we can. Uh, if you let us know more specifically what uh, resources, what facilities you, you, you're referring to, uh, we can certainly give you uh, a, a direct advice. Uh, Muhammad Kasim, hello, I'd like to know more about jobs and all the neat conditions to travel and work in Cyprus for a fresh graduate computer and telecommunication engineer. Uh, again, uh, 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 Mr. Kasim, uh, the opportunities are there. You just need to follow uh, the, the right path. If you're looking to be employed, then uh, it's an employer's responsibility uh, to ensure that all the right papers are submitted. Uh, and again, maybe for people like uh, Andre, uh, if, he, if he's a new guy here, uh, you know, and he needs some kind of a, a advice and support, we can certainly uh, address that matter together. Uh, but there are certain processes needs to be followed for uh, uh, to be employed and, and, and relocated here. Although we also need to start examining the opportunities for the companies to be uh, employing remote workers. Uh, so there are there, there are other uh, avenues there. Okay. Taxation is something really interesting to learn about. Again, Salim, uh, we will send you the pack. Just reach out to, to us directly. Uh, links to the website know about facility. Yeah, I've got that. Facility is the same. Our startup is already based in Lebanon. That's a very good question. Can we expand to Cyprus without having to actually move to Cyprus for the first while? Is it easy to legally open an entity there without having a physical address and bank account. So for please. Yeah. It's uh, Cyprus can accommodate international business without the presence uh, of the actual owners in the island. But there are a few considerations that you should be very careful with these decisions. 
uh, when you choose Cyprus as a company, you choose Cyprus for tax purposes as well. In order to be a company tax resident of Cyprus, the management and control of the company should be from Cyprus. In this respect, the directors of the company, even for small startup companies, I'm not saying about employees, at least the directors of the company, that is, they are responsible for taking the decisions of the company should be residing locally in Cyprus. If the owners cannot be physically be in Cyprus, they, then they have the option to use uh, local directors uh, from here. Uh, in regards to banking, there is no uh, restrictions where your bank account should be kept. You can have bank accounts all over the world and there is no requirement to have your bank account in Cyprus. I hope, I hope this was uh, uh, clear. Hope, uh, but in Cyprus, we can assist with opening of bank accounts. We, we can accommodate both bank accounts. We can accommodate such startup companies to start legally operating from Cyprus. Uh, okay. Uh... Uh, George, uh, uh, Yunan, uh, you're interested in branch virtual office, uh, exactly what you're interested in, as Andre mentioned. Okay, that's fine. Uh, again, uh, I think certain discussions uh, needs to be done in, in private to understand a little bit better your situation and where your current startup at, uh, if I'm correct uh, here, Sophocles. Exactly. Uh, so exactly. Uh, so we, we, we're happy to... Um, to engage with you on that level. Um, yes, uh, I think uh, if you're planning to organize a webinar, Andre, it's a good idea. Um, if, if you need, uh, we, we would be definitely interested to also participate if you want to do something more strategic on Cyprus and a bit more thematic with regards to company registration and migration. Uh, I think this could be a good uh, uh, next theme. I don't know what you think, Andre. It's definitely uh, uh, very important for the Lebanese to understand the, uh, the modalities of every step that you must take for the incorporation, for the name creation, for the yeah. bank account uh, establishment, for the transfer of funds, because we do not have a Lebanese banking system today. I had to operate by cash in a lot of my transactions. And that was one of the biggest challenges. Uh, so uh, most of the companies in Lebanon would have had the same problem. Our capital is locked in banks and we had yeah. to work with whatever we had left in our pockets or whatever we, uh, we were making outside of Lebanon. Uh, but uh, I definitely understand the need for Lebanese companies to be able to have an operation outside at least to be able to cash in their revenues that come from outside of Lebanon. Uh, so we are in a terrible situation and only a Lebanese who's done that can understand their real requirements. So uh, mm -hmm. I think that this webinar is something very important. George, if we can organize this during the next week and invite whoever is interested. And I'm sure that Sean uh, Oleg and uh, Mr. Uh, Sophocles would be interested to, uh, to join me in my speech to them. I will just going, I'm just going to uh, explain my, uh, 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 my, my history and all the, the trials that I have made until I met the, uh, the proper uh, solution. And uh, also uh, uh, try to facilitate to them the connections with the right people. Okay. We've got a question from Tony, Tony Azar. Um... Good evening, all. Is this partnership going to cover the Lebanese student willing to continue the study, especially higher studies like my case in Cyprus, uh, in the cybersecurity field, on the level of full life scholarship or scholarship with some job opportunities to cover life experience and some practical knowledge? Look, uh, uh, education is a big thing. Uh, it, you, ca you can't get away from it. And uh, one of the things that I'm currently uh, focusing on 
is to uh, uh, is to develop even better connection with the tertiary education providers, some associations here, uh, because I think they need some guidance. What kind of a curriculum needs to be introduced? So, and, and the point of this uh, agreement that we signed today is to actually focus on this uh, knowledge and talent transfer. Uh, so we we're definitely looking into it. Oh, Andre, you 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 already answered it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, well, we're, at least we're on the same page. That's that's good. But it's uh, it, Andre is always one step ahead. <laughs> that's how you become successful, by the way. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Any project soon will be between Mohammed. Uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, for kind comments. Uh, Mohammed uh, Sohan, uh, any project soon will be between Syndicate and your community shown to work remotely using shared resource in Cyprus and Lebanon. We at the early stage, we just signed up agreement today. I think we definitely need to now put our cards on the tables and see how we can uh, 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 progress uh, further. But rest assured, everything that we're going to be doing will be shared with yourselves and also with the with our community here so you know you will have access to all the information so any opportunities uh, of course we would be glad to hear from you exactly. okay so uh, i think we're coming to the to the end thank you everybody we we had uh, Practically everyone stayed till the from the beginning to the end, which is a great uh, uh, things. I'd like to thank my fellow speakers uh, for their time and sharing their knowledge. Uh, again, delighted to have made uh, your acquaintance, Andre, George, uh, Marius, and Sophocles. We know each other for a while now. Thank you, Sean. And. Uh, so, Thank you, everyone, for your effort and for your time. We really appreciate it. Sean Thank you. The, and Oleg for the great uh, organization for this. Uh, yes, you've thank, done you. Great. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice to meet. Very, very, very nice meetup. Uh, we have a lot of questions, but we have a lot of answers step by step. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, George. Thank you, Sean, Andre. And Marius, like thank you for your input, uh, Sophocles. Appreciate you. your expertise as usual. Have a good evening, guys. Good evening. And, uh, let's make some good things uh, happen. Take, Take care. care. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.